G'day and welcome back to the Pillars of Ranternity. Let's uh, go and find out about some crazy druids. And basically in general just explore more of Twin Elms. I'm really not sure how much of the main story is left. Basically I get a sense that we're getting pretty close. We explore the city. We pick up I'm a few it. new quests, yeah, but not exactly. that many, because most of the quests we have picked up are pretty quick. And then we go and um, murder some people. Mostly Theos. Let's just uh, wander through here first, because that's how I like to do things. I'll take your beer. Alright, so we got Naka, who we're going to chat with. And then, who else? I've got something over here. Hey, I'll take those luck picks. Ah, that's a happy place, isn't it? This feels like it's totally a place to fight. I mean, actually, first thing, why on earth do we actually have to explore this place? Every other location we've been to in Twin Elms has not been like Let's that. Let's see what's in here. Need something? Do you take that? Thank you. Just say the word. Couple of sapphires. No one's going to complain about that, surely. Can you back up, buddy? Apparently not. Come on. You can do it, mate. Just just Yeah. Fuck off. Not a problem. I'll have this open in no do time. It. Right of the untamed land is plus three survival. Gotcha. Just say the word. Take it. Leave it to me. Thank Null, blah blah blah. This seems super happy. Yeah. Okay. So. Continuing to explore. Until we get into trouble. Supplicant, nice big lava pit for some reason, sure. Essence within to, nurture, to nurture flesh and essence without to strengthen it. Blood, it. chain of blood, secret chamber. Why? Okay. Blood, okay, yeah, this is definitely stealing. Cool, cool. Blood Testament. Only usable by monk, plus 2% raw damage. Sorry, I don't call forth the Stelgar just to haul your garbage. What? Jeez. So picky. What are you wearing belt wise? Why don't you wear this then? Yeah, you can jump, dump all of this stuff back in. Didn't realize I had you picking up that crap. That'll do it. Ooh. Plus one perception resolve and dex and plus two law. Glanfathen Adraswen. Okay. Don't think it's useful for us. Oh, for this particular person. Um, because obviously I already have this which is boosting perception this which is boosting three stats this which will boost some more stats but it's currently just boosting might yeah okay so this would give us no absolutely nothing so I guess we'll put that on you then yeah that sounds good yeah Good thing that no one objects to us uh, breaking into a secret chamber, opening things up. 
finding stuff and taking things. I mean, admittedly, if they'd noticed, we would have. They would have complained about us stealing, but they didn't notice. So weird to have this, like, yeah, this. If we are not meant to be fighting through here at some point in the future, I will be amazed. Like. This is such a big sprawling place that we apparently need to explore for ourselves. What's in the pot? Black Sun. Might as well. Keep a weirda irta. Yeah, I heard you, cat. Up here, what do we got? Chanter. More chanters. Earth Blight. Braver sons and daughters fall not by the swords of the Eastern, but by something else. Probably by being crap. So I guess up here is the last place we haven't explored. There seem to be blood stains, so that's, you know, super cheerful. Oh right, that's leading into this secret chamber. Ah, uh, supplicants, chanters, flame blight, and this would be where someone gets killed. As your blood flows, so shall your essence. Your life's energy shall feed the soil, and your soul's energy shall enrich the community. This is by your own choosing, Sublicant? Yes. The dwarf grips a hatchet with both hands and raises it over his head. He throws his shoulders forward and swings weapon into the elf's chest, connecting with a meaty thump. Blood gushes around the blade and the sacrifice's screams run the air. I did say I wanted to see the teachings of the other druids, but... I think I was imagining more dried herbs and chanting. No, we never did that in my circle back home. Never. Despite his early agreement, the elf thrashes atop the stone table, his torso arcing while his arms and legs remain tied in place. Meanwhile, the dwarf spreads his arms wide and allows blood to spatter his robes. When the elf is finally silent and still, the dwarf pulls his hatchet from the body and wipes it on his hem. Well, that is super cheerful. And definitely the kind of thing you want to see. Okay, well... Um, let's start talking to named NPCs, starting from the entrance. Ugh. It's quite the place. So, keep a good host. Your sacrifice leads the land, supplicant, to come forth. Esther Amor, your kin doesn't come here to share with the tribes what you want. Tell me about the ethic knoll. That's who we are. As I said, more and rarely visit our halls. Our order has thrived for generations. Before we came to Twin Elms, our rights fed the lands of the Eastern Mountains. Now we share blood for Eglanfath. To that end, uh, to everything that must end, our sacrifices bring a new beginning. We sustain what's to come. So what is this place? The Glanfath and Goldsey's place, the Blood Sands. We call it home. The Ethic Knoll have tended to the lands from within this cave since before the arrival of the tribes to Twin Elms. Be warm, Destromore. We bleed life to nurture it. Our sacrifices may strike you as savage, but the health of these lands depends on them, and it is unseemly for guests to insult their hosts. And the sacrifices? Everything must die to return a new Estramor. Through the sacrificial rites, we offer supplicants the honor of giving their most precious gift back to their brethren, back to the land. Blood gives us strength. Even the Glanfathans have come to depend on the blood paint. They brim with power before battle, all thanks to the sacrifices of their kin. Remember, Estramor, you're a guest in these halls. Respect our ways, and we'll tolerate your presence among us. Yep, taken by force. Just say the word. Essence given empowers many. Okay, so it has to be a voluntary sacrifice is what I'm getting. The petitioner before you is swaddled in loose-fitting robes. Her hair is greasy, matted. A glossy film of sweat and grime coats her exposed skin. She has the swollen features of pregnancy and her missing teeth uh, in her big, grinning smile. 
you as you approach, she slowly turns to you and examines you from head to toe. Joy is stay to you, despite coming from a wearied body. Her voice sounds resonant and reacts. I am Naka, midwife and law keeper. Her hand runs across a slight bulge in her belly. She rolls her head back and sighs a relaxed purr. Are you feeling well? Flawless. Apologies, I should be left to my meditation. The rite of strength is invigorating, almost overwhelming to the senses. She reaches down and cradles her belly in her hands and turns away. Okay, same thing. Don't have time for this. I mean, I do, but I was hoping to get more about what the hell is going on there. Because that sounds super weird. But I guess we'll head up here. What's with the keeper here? Greatness requires sacrifice. No, we're not stealing from people that can see us. Alright, we'll check this chamber. Because there's no greater honor than dying for one tribe. If some fall in battle house is different. Um, yeah, I guess there's that perspective. I guess. Still not a cool, cool way to go. Okay, so we'll chat with you. See what happens. Hail, Estramor. The dwarf wears crimson robes that are stained with and streaked with dark patches. His face is smooth but lacking youthful elasticity. It's as if the lines and wrinkles have been formed and erased many times over. He watches you with eyes like two black pits as he wipes his hatchet on his robes. No one comes to Blood Sands without a purpose. What is yours? Who are you? I am the Archdruid of the Ethic Null. For centuries it has been my duty to guide our rituals and guard our knowledge. It is work that requires a certain resilience, but it is not without its benefits. Arrestin's eerily smooth face is motionless while he watches you. Tell me more about the Ethic Knoll. We are a druidic order that has been in Twin Elms since Angwithin times. Our founders came from the White March, seeking a place where we might practice our beliefs in peace, as it were. Unlike most of our Glanfathan brethren, we seek answers in the world around us rather than the teachings of the gods. We believe that all life has power, and this life and power can be siphoned and conducted. We are not, as some suggest, madmen and murderers. All of our rituals are conducted with willing participants and through methods which have been tested and refined over centuries. This allows us to create the war paint for which we are respected, if not loved. How are you different from the ovates of the Golden Grove? Golden Grove. I remember when Arona came up with that name. It used to be as green as the rest of the forest, you know. We're more similar than they'd like to admit. We both believe in achieving power without the double-edged aid of gods. But their fantasy is pure creation. Something from nothing. They blind themselves to the fact that all life, from the mightiest dragon to the slimmest braid of glass, that blade of grass, requires death. And the greatest ends require the greatest sacrifices. Some sacrifices are simply too costly. Many agree with you, and many float from one life to the next, living out a finite stock of years and accomplishing nothing. I want to know more about your sacrifices. We merely believe in giving up something of value. The energy from that sacrifice can be diverted elsewhere. It's not so different from what folk practice all over the world. If you would turn to the soil, a sailor ship, or move a cart, you must expend energy. But we're best known for our practice of kith sacrifice. This is the most potent form of sacrifice because it releases the most energy. We distill the essence of an entire soul into raw power that can strengthen the body, fortify the soul, and extend life. And what's war paint? A special unguent binding a raw essence to the wearer. It grants incredible advantages in combat and has made us indispensable to the tribes. Whatever they say about our practices, almost all of them have made use of our war paint some time or another. Fascinating indeed how the most strident objections can be overcome by circumstance. And that's all I wanted to know. I mean, I can say you murdered a man right here, but I don't think that would help. So is it here or here that there was someone we could also ch chat with? This has just got a generic keeper. And so back here. You. Hail, Estramor. 
Welcome to the Blood Sands. It's rare to see an Estramar set foot in these caverns. What brings you here, I wonder? Tell me about the Blood Sands. Ha, already you've heard your questions bounce along these words. You asked Restim himself of our practices, did you not? This is the raw, bloody heart of Eglanthath, where some come to give their essence back to the people. Where others seek a noble escape from the trials, the legacy of the builders to so the trials is not mere adra and stone, but a sense of community. It is here that the Glanfathans come to sacrifice what is their most precious, even their own lives, to preserve it. Something more? What do you do here? I sell and maintain certain goods for the preservation of our order, and I perform some of our ritual sacrifices. And the sacrifices too complicated. Clotting the supplicant's essence, binding their life to the blood, and drawing it into a container or vessel. And what do you have for sale? Potions, potions, flask of war paint, which we've previously seen. Um, potions, potions, potions. Don't care. None of these are useful. Okay. Let's leave. By which, when I say none of these are useful, I mean none of these are things that I am likely to use, even if they should be useful. Or would be useful were I to use them. So close to another level. You must. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I know. I get it. I don't care. But I get it. Okay. So the next step is. Heading into here. Maybe chatting with some gods. You know how it is. 